We had seen lenders, the biggest lenders, putting $30 billion in that lifeline to First Republic. And now what are we hearing about Warren Buffett perhaps investing in these banks? Well, we do know that Warren Buffett is not only a well-respected investor, but he's been regarded as a savior of ailing banks in the past. And according to people familiar with the matter, there have been multiple calls between the billionaire and the Biden White House senior advisors in recent days specifically about potentially investing in the U.S regional banking sector. We also know that Buffett has given some of his views and broader guidance about the current banking crisis. Now, Buffett, back during the debt ceiling crisis in 2011, when Bank of America's stock was plunging, uh, offered a lifeline, invested several billion in Bank of America in return for shares and options. He also tossed a $5 billion lifeline at Goldman Sachs back at the height of the financial crisis. And we do know that, that the Biden administration has faced favored these kind of private investments, as Sherry just mentioned, uh, rather than using government spending to backstop the banks. Bloomberg has reported that Treasury Secretary Yellen specifically uh, was instrumental in getting those 11 banks together to put $30 billion in deposits in the First Republic last Thursday. We're told those commitments for at least 120 days. But look how the stock performed uh, in the past couple of days. On Friday, the stock fell by an additional 33% in the regular session, a little more after hours. And that indicates concerns about First Republic have not gone away. And then on Sunday, here in the U.S., the S&P cut the rating a second time in a week, uh, taking its rating a notch lower. We are seeing these ongoing efforts for the rescue for First Republic, though. Yeah, we are. The, the, the downgrade, again, uh, is another vote of non-confidence. The fact the stock is down 80-plus percent year-to-date, also hurting uh, the crisis of confidence. Bloomberg has learned that Tom Barrick, a Colony Capital founder, uh, is taking a leading role in now advising First Republic on options as it races to avoid collapse now that it looks like that $30 billion rescue last week has failed to calm investors. The lender has been trying to reinsure customers and clients that can avoid the fate of Silicon Valley Bank. Still looking for a buyer.